Drake, and I am a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Vectra AI. And today we have Brad Woodberg with us, who is a Senior Director of PM at Vectra. And we are here to talk about platform innovation, specifically the latest release, Vectra AI 8.5, and what that means in this podcast today. So thank you, Brad, for joining us. Absolutely. Great to be here. Awesome. So we'll dive right into it. So first, we just want to you know, know what is in release 8.5. We have a lot of new capabilities, um, so I'll, I'll hand it over to you. Excellent. So um, yeah, 8.5 uh, is uh, our release that's coming out uh, in the month of June. I should mention that we do about 11 feature releases every single year. So our goal is to basically have new feature releases coming out every single month. We combine November and December uh, just because of the holidays and New Year's and everything. Um, but what that really means for you is a ton of new innovation that's kind of continuously uh, coming out. Um, and, and you know, obviously that's great for you as a customer. Um, the 8.5 release was a particularly busy release, um, so much so that we actually are going to break each of these uh, down by section. So I can kind of walk you through uh, each different uh, area and what that means for you, what value you get out of it. So maybe we can start uh, by talking about the coverage specifically. Yes, sounds good. And I Thank you for bringing up that point that we are heavily invested in innovation and hence why we do these monthly releases. Um, so we'll jump into coverage. So. Yeah, so uh, uh, starting off with the M365 Azure ID, uh, it was a, a banner month for us. Um, we have several new detections uh, looking for uh, different types of activity that we've been observing in the wild. Um, so, so really, this one line item is comprised of about five new detections uh, that we released, um, and uh, we further enhanced uh, our coverage of uh, the Midnight Blizzard, aka Nobelium AT, APT29, uh, where they're attacking Attacking OAuth applications, um, we have new improved detections for adding, uh, you know, uh, AD uh, Azure AD um, uh, partners to your organization. We've seen that being used, um, registering new uh, certificate authorities, and the use of um, an M365 being able to send links uh, to external Teams users um, that can be, um, you know, valuable for attackers to be able to exfil data. So again, several different pieces there um, on the M365 Azure AD side. We've Vector Match, which again is our uh, signature-based capability based upon the Suricata engine. In the 8.5 release, um, we partnered with uh, Proofpoint uh, to bring the ET Pro OEM uh, rule set uh, to, to our customers. So rather than you having to go out and purchase this uh, on your own or using just the basic open version, um, you're, that's now included as part of your match license. Um, and Vectra, we're also going a little bit further. We're actually um, kind of doing some initial baseline tuning so that you can get a pretty good experience out of the box. Um, um, you still have to do some tuning uh, specific to your environment uh, over time, but but at least out of the box uh, it should really help you be successful. Um, and then uh, lastly, uh, we've been making a whole bunch of different uh, enhancements uh, to some of the um, uh, different algorithms to improve performance uh, and coverage. Uh, so for instance, uh, our, our C2 detection, um, uh, we've ha had some pretty large performance uh, gains uh, that we are delivering in the 8.5 release. Um, so that that's something that we're, we're quite excited about. You know, all these things, the, the, the goal is really to, uh, you know, reduce your total exposure, uh, to reduce the the time to detect uh the the time to respond um uh, and really maximize what your team can do uh, with the resources that you have so um yeah just a few words on coverage maybe we can talk about um uh, clarity yep yep awesome thank you brad i think it's super important too because as you know the attack surface is expanding so all of these coverage you know features that we just added with this release are super important i think customers and prospects will appreciate it so let's dive into clarity so I'll hand it back to you 
Yeah, so um, uh, starting off with the ICMP tunnel and yeah, triage support, um, you know, ICMP tunnel, we released a suite of detections uh, for that um, back in the 8.3 release. Um, and uh, working with our customers, we identified some opportunities to enhance our AI triage engine so that we can automatically filter out certain benign patterns that we occasionally see when good applications decide to, um, you know, to leverage ICMP as a communication protocol, which is, you know, typically not done uh, except by attackers, but we found a couple of use cases. And, and the really cool thing is, you know, we apply AI not only to detect things, but also to, um, you know, to automate some of the, the workflows to reduce the burden on your SOC team. Uh, so AI triage is really a great example of that. And, uh, you know, again, we, we've we've added that in so we can automatically triage out detections that that we don't think are, are particularly meaningful. Um, um, the next one is uh, around our PAA uh, detections. Uh, this is really a, a a family of detections that's looking when someone has compromised an account or system and they start uh, using it to elevate their privileges. Um, uh, that that's when th these detections start to kick in. Um, and, you know, we've got a bunch of customer feedback on how we can make it better, uh, you know, basically decrease uh, or increase the signal, uh, so we'll say, uh, around the PA detections. And so that's exactly what we've done here. We've adjusted the scoring algorithm so that when the PA detections fire, um, it should be, uh, you know, a little bit uh, more, have have more desirable effect when it comes to the scoring and prioritization uh, for, for those detections detections. Um, and then the last one um, is, uh, you know, we basically rebuilt our entire pipeline for M365 and Azure AD detections um, uh, to be much, much faster. Uh, we, we've seen almost a 17x, that's right, 17 times uh, uh, decrease in the amount of time it takes uh, from the time that we receive the events uh, from Microsoft uh, to being able to generate detections. Um, and it's far more stable. So, um, you know, just a really, really good enhancement. You know, what that means to you is that, uh, you know, if there's a, a malicious activity, we're able to uh, detect it and prioritize it faster, which is, um, you know, th these days, uh, uh, speed uh, is very, very important to stay a step ahead of the attackers. Yeah, definitely agree. I mean, empowering our signal with our attack signal intelligence through all of this helps the speed of response and investigation. And ultimately like protecting an organization. So I think you hit the nail on the head with that. So thank you, that's awesome. And we'll jump into our control features. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, we talked a little bit about uh, vector match and how we're doing the curated rule set. Um, we've also added vector match support to our respond UX. Um, so basically, you're getting everything that you had uh, in the traditional quadrant based on um, prem UX. Um, but respond UX also provides uh, instant and advanced investigation support. Um, so that's a really nice, um, you know, addition, uh, you know, since in the cloud, we can store metadata, we kind of have, you know, unlo unlimited storage and compute so it gives us a uh, really good uh, capability there um, so so basically again taking what you we had on prem and we can make it even more expansive in the cloud um, we've been making some improvements to our backup and restore subsystems um, and uh, really kind of streamlining the the configuration and the, the execution of it uh, so um, you know just kind of heating customer uh, feedback and, and requests. Uh, uh, and th this is kind of part of a journey, but I think a, a really good first step uh, to, you know, to improving that really important, uh, you know, subsystem on, on the platform. And then the last one is adding IPv6 management support for our brains and sensors. So, um, you know, we support IPv6 for our metadata. So stream recall, um, uh, uh, we also support it for vector match. Um, uh, but what this does is it adds the ability to be able to manage the appliances, the, the sensors in the brains via an IPv6 address. You could do dual stack with IPv4 and IPv6 uh, if you wish, um, you know, just as uh, IP addresses have been running out, you know, customers uh, needed uh, to, to migrate to IPv6. And so this gives us the ability to kind of meet you where you are uh, if you are running IPv6 uh, on these systems. Awesome, thank you. Absolutely. And with that, we'll we'll close it out. Um, Brad, if you have any closing thoughts, um, but yeah. 
Yeah, just to say, uh, you know, we we have, uh, you know, as we started this conversation, we have new features and functionality coming out every month. So I'll be excited to come back next month, share uh, some of the new great stuff that's coming in 8.6. And, you know, basically this will be uh, kind of continuous because uh, there's there's just a ton of innovation and we, we love talking about it. Yeah, agreed. Um, thank you very much for joining. Um, and for those of you who are new to our podcast, please subscribe to our Vector AI YouTube, where all of our podcasts are held. Um, there's some really great stuff coming out from our team, and we hope you enjoyed. Thank you.